This is a day in the life of a structural design engineer in a buildings team that designs high rises all the way down to residential houses. The office I work from is based on the east coast of Australia, but before I show you my day, let me show you how I got here. In December of 2021, I graduated from a degree in civil engineering and shortly after began working at a big global design company. At this company, I worked on various steel frame structures and got my first real taste of being a full-time engineer. But after a year of working at this company, I decided the big corporate lifestyle wasn't for me and that I needed a change. So I touched up my resume and started the job hunt for a new role at a smaller company. During this process, I reached out to quite a few people who work at smaller companies and even got in contact with one of my old university professors who ended up passing on my resume to one of the nearby small engineering companies. Soon after my professor did this, the company reached out, I sat an interview, and I eventually got the job offer. Here's my day. In the morning, I always start my day off the same. I begin by having a quick shower, getting dressed, and making myself some breakfast. For breakfast, I usually have a bowl of oatmeal and some toast, and while I'm eating, I usually like to watch something on YouTube. After this, I head over to my desk and begin the work day. Today, I'm going to be starting the day working from home as I've got a site inspection I need to go to later this morning and I'm going to do it on my way into the office. As a structural engineer, it is pretty typical for me to work in a variety of places, so that means some days I work from home, on others I'll be in the office and on site, and some days like today, it's a mix of all three of these. Anyways, the first thing I like to do when I sit down at my desk in the morning is open up my iPad and create a to-do list. The app I use to write my to-do list is called Notability, and this process usually involves carrying over any tasks I didn't complete from yesterday, adding new tasks based off yesterday's progress, and then ordering this list by whatever is the highest priority. After this, I'll open up my work email and Microsoft Teams and catch up on anything that's been sent since I signed off the day before. Sometimes after reading these messages, I will have to add more tasks or reprioritize, but today I was lucky and I didn't have to. In the morning while my brain is still nice and fresh, I always try and jump straight into some design work for a couple of hours. Right now, the main project I'm working on is a steel portal frame building for a sports hall, and for the last couple of days, I've been setting up a space gas model, which is gonna help me do the design for this project. Up until this point, this process has involved me doing things like inputting the model geometry, node restraints and member properties, working out the wind loads using hand calculations and Excel spreadsheets, and also inputting all my load cases and combinations. And now finally after all this prior work, today I'm going to be analysing the design actions from this model so I can start sizing the members. Right now I'm going through each of my load cases and checking things like deflections, bending moments and shear forces, and trying to find which of my load cases are critical. Nowadays most structural analysis programs also include a design or check feature, so after I've done some sanity checks for sizes that I think work, I'm going to run the check feature and make sure that the software also agrees with the sizes I've chosen. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do also have a site inspection I need to get to this morning, so it's time to stop working on this project, pack my bag, and get on my way. In the office, I pretty much have a full setup minus my laptop, so I only need to transfer a couple of things with me. First, I have my big Dell work computer. Next, I have my trusty 11-inch iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. And lastly, my calculator. I'm also planning to head to the gym after work, so I'm going to quickly pack a change of clothes for this too. And of course, because I'm heading to site, I'll also need my steel cap boots, hard hat, tape measure, safety glasses, and a high-vis vest, but I usually keep that stuff in my car ready to go. Today, the site inspection I'm going to be going to is a house framing inspection, and lucky for me, this one isn't too far away, so it's a nice, easy drive. When I get to site, the first thing I do is change into my work boots, grab my iPad, and put on my hard hat. After this, I'm ready to go and start inspecting. Now, during a framing inspection, what I'm doing is checking that all aspects of the timber and steel frame are as per the structural drawings. So that means that I need to start at the ground floor and check the wall and floor framing, and then eventually go upstairs and check the roof framing. During this process, I'm checking things like the member size, grade and layout, the connections and tie downs, and also that enough bracing has been installed and in the correct locations. When I'm going around and checking all these things, I really try to be as thorough as possible because inspections truly are the last line of defense, as anything that's not flagged during this final check could result in a structural failure. A two-story framing inspection like this usually takes me about an hour and a half to complete, but by the end of that time, I feel confident that I've checked everything properly. After finishing the inspection, I now need to write a site inspection report which details anything that the builder needs to fix or change. This is usually a pretty quick process as throughout the inspection, I've been taking notes of all these things down on my iPad. Anyways, now that this site inspection is done and it's roughly 12 p.m., I'm gonna stop and grab some lunch. After a quick bite to eat, it's now time to make my way to the the office and get some more work done. 
when I get to my desk, the first thing I do is unload my things and get myself set up. This afternoon, the first task I'm going to be doing is going through some drawings that the drafting team has sent back to me for review for a small granny flat that I designed last week. Just to give you some context for those of you that are unaware of the design process that happens in a structural engineering office, it looks something like this. First, the engineer will receive a copy of the architectural drawings and the site soil report. Second, the engineer will do their calculations and analysis using hand calculations and various software programs. Third, the engineer will illustrate their design. What this actually looks like is just 2D shapes and annotations over the top of architectural drawings, which show the different structural members and the layouts they want. During this process, the engineer also needs to illustrate the connections and any other structural details throughout their design so that eventually the builder knows exactly what to do. Fourth, the engineer needs to send this illustration, or what is more commonly referred to as a markup, to the drafting team. Fifth, the drafting team draws and models what we have marked up and sends it back to the engineer for review. Sixth, the engineer reviews these drawings and makes any further comments they have on the drawing. And just for reference, this is what I'm doing now. Seventh, this back and forth process between the engineer and the drafter continues until the engineer is happy with the drawings. Eighth, these drawings are peer reviewed by a senior engineer. Ninth, any changes indicated by the senior engineer will need to be amended by both the design engineer and the drafter. And finally, number 10, the structural drawings are issued to the client. While this does sound like a really long process, actually doing a review of a design you've marked up doesn't take too long, and that's good for me because I need to move on to my next task, which is doing a shop drawing review for a factory another engineer in my team has designed. A shop drawing review is basically just reviewing the model and drawings a steel manufacturer has created based off a set of design drawings they have gotten from us and just double checking that they have interpreted our design correctly before the steel items are manufactured. Although this may seem like a straightforward process, it can be a costly one because it's the last chance we have as the designer to make sure that things are going to be made the same way we have designed them. Anyways, it's around 5.30pm now and I've finished most of what I want to get done today so I'm going to leave the office and head to the gym. The gym is about a 10 minute drive from the office so I like to head there straight after work a couple of days a week. At the gym I mainly do strength training exercises and I usually spend about an hour here. After this I head home and have some dinner. Once I've eaten my dinner I usually get a final boost of energy so now I like to work on making these videos for a couple of hours. Towards the end of the night I do start to get pretty loopy and once I feel like this I tend to stop working and start winding down so that I can get a good sleep. Depending on how tired I am at this point, sometimes I go straight to bed but tonight I'm going to watch an episode of a TV show called Power that I've been watching for a little while. By the end of one episode I'm usually borderline asleep so at this point I turn my light out and get some rest so I'm ready for another day of designing buildings going to site inspections and doing hobbies tomorrow.